you do it a year plus ago before you realize you have to spend so much time working on one particular body part. You talked about just wanting to be stronger overall to absorb contact from really physical, defensive players. Were you able to make strides with that the past year, strengthening other parts of your body? Where do you stand with that? Yeah, I think I've gained around like 15 pounds since my freshman year. Um, which I hope is all muscle, but I feel like it is. Um, but I, I'm feeling much, much stronger. I feel more confident um, in my body than I ever have. Like when I step on the court, I feel like I'm ready for whatever defense is going to throw at me. Um, and I know people this year are going to like test me, push me around, make sure I'm really healthy, make sure my knee's really good, um, and use physicality as like a weapon against me. So I'm ready for that. Um, I feel like I prepare my body more than ever th than I have before um, for that reason. Well, yeah, it was the bicep. Uh, I got my t-shirt on. If I had my little uh, cut off on, I would. <coughs> Obviously, you guys, you know, the talent we saw in Europe was different than the talent you're going to see in the college season. But how, do, how is what you guys did in Europe going to help you this season? Uh, it was really great just to sort of set the standard of what, what we want to be this whole season. Um, team that plays with a lot of pace um, on offense and defense, pushing the ball and then picking up full court. So I think it was great to sort of set the tone of what we were going to do this whole season. Obviously, we didn't get to work on it as much as we would have, so it was sort of like just thrown into the fire type of thing. Um, but to be able to set that tone and show the freshmen and show the whole team what we're going to look like this whole entire year and as we're going to get better, as we keep working on it and drilling in these things, um, I think it was a really, really great way to start the season. When did you start to trust your knee again? Was there a moment or maybe a week where you were like, okay, I feel calm and make these turns, moving as explosively as I want to? Yeah, I think um, it was probably around like the seven or eight month mark um, where I was starting to do more like workouts where I would go up for layups and someone would hit me with the ball and I would have to work on my landing. But a lot of it was like, off the court stuff like I'd be in the weight room and I'd be jumping off boxes and making sure my knees are staying out um, when I'm landing. Um, but I would say it was a lot of preparation before I even stepped out on the court so that when the time comes when I, when I go up for a layup and I get hit and I fall or I go up and I land awkwardly like I feel com confident landing that way. I'm not even thinking about it so I would say around like the seven or eighth month mark but it was honestly before I even stepped out on the court. Hey, did you ask before about is this is going to be your senior year? When, when you're making money like in the NIL, an athlete like you, does that change the perspective of like maybe staying a little longer because you are making some money? Is is that factor into it at all? No, that's really not a factor at all for me. Um, I've said before, like I just love the college experience. I love being here at UConn and putting on that UConn jersey every single day. Um, and I just have tremendous pride playing here, playing for this program. Um, and I came here, and I wanted to come here way before, not way before, but a little bit before NIL even started. Um, so that really has no factor into my decision. Um, it's more just the basketball aspect and the school aspect.